Hey guys, okay, Craig here taking over the channel. Uh, we've got a big garage update. We've got this little Volkswagen Polo in. It's just need a bit of repair work on a door that you can see there. So it's not too much, likes to be sharp dent, easy enough. Um, it's also in uh, to get new wheels fitted. I don't know what it's standard wheels. It's wanting new wheels fitted, new tyres. We just thought we'd bring you along the process of doing them. These are the wheels here I'll show you just now. These are the wheels here. I'm quite happy with the style he's picked. So he's went my kind of way um, silver. Standard look uh, on 17s that should make the car look a little bit better. And um, he's also brought fresh tyres uh, to go on. Um, so that should look quite nice on the car. Right, uh, as you can see, Esco pickup still here, but not for long. It's going to be the tomorrow. It's getting picked up by a truck. Just got a final wee polish of it today, but she's looking, she's looking good. She's looking good as she can be, I would say. Got a few pictures on that last night, so it looked the part. Uh, I've got to put them in, and you'll see some nice kind of photogenic pictures of it. You see, she's just doing a final polish. She's just looking, looking the business. Um, and then that's her away, ready for the next one to get done. Next car in line, or respray in line to get finished, is the Subaru. It's been stuck in here just now, just because we're not using the buff at the moment. Um, buff wiring and electrics are still to get ripped out, and we've got the heaters to get fitted, so I'm going to pull this out, put it in spot with the Escort, and then get working on this. Um, this is just going back, back to the colour. As far as I'm aware, I think Gary the owner's going to sell it once it's done. Um, his original plan was this flip paint, uh, which does look nice, but uh, I don't think it appeal to most people, especially enthusiasts and stuff, trying to keep it nice and original. Uh, the plan with the car is the shell's getting painted first. Um, once the shell's done, and also might say the, the colour that's painted, it's a midnight blue, black. It looks it looks black, and then when sunlight hits it, there's a kind of blue tinge going through it. Um, so I say the full shell is getting painted and then parts get painted separate, i.e. the wing, the bonnet, um, doors etc, bumpers. There's a little kit going on, it's a little splitter kit, uh, still get fitted and it's got the UK 300 seats getting done. Um, so we're going to strip all this out, clean the whole car up before the paint works uh, happens. And um, Also I don't know if Gary mentioned that we've done a little, uh, little job on the bonnet. This is actually a, a Nismo bonnet vent that I had for my uh, S13 and um, I wasn't too keen on putting them on. Uh, to be fair it was actually the effort, I couldn't be, couldn't be asked for well, the, the grief of trying to fit it and all the filler work so I put it on Gary's bonnet, placed it on top, mainly just for a joke just to say but to be fair it actually looked quite good and it doesn't look much just now but see once that scoops on and once it's painted I said I think that'll look, that'll look really nice, I think it'll look the part and it's not too over the top, I think especially with the dark colour it'll kind of blend it slightly so it'll be a little, little feature. So see, this is next in line, and this has still got a lot. Once it's paint work's done, it's not even finished there. It's got brand new coils to get done, wheels to get refurbed, calipers are getting done, get new discs and pads getting fitted, getting a full under seal. Um, sorry they had the exhaust done. Still got an up pipe to fit, and then it's a full service, a timing belt water pump. And the car's done about 130,000 miles, I believe. But even with that mileage, every time you start it, it's not a problem, not even a single tick. And then these EG twigs are quite bad for old lifter tick. As I said, I think the car's it's pretty sound that way. It's been off the road now for about five years. And as I say, it's been dry stored, so she's she's ready. As I say, a couple of weeks and we'll have it finished and we'll be on to the next one. Uh, so that's the uh, just regarding the Volkswagen. A little update. No, it's not much of an update on my focus. Um as I said before, I've got the RS but on rear calipers. I sent my friend, uh, Who's RS vapor blasted right through? If you need anything vapor blasted or sandblasting um, or any flocking, there's a lot of rally dashes and stuff like that. He's the man to speak to. But he, he got me blasted and I've got my calipers all painted. So they're good to go once it's uh, getting assembled. Uh, I'll just let you have also, got ourselves a little bit of a problem today. Uh, as you can see, Gary's not here. Uh, he's away playing whatever the f he wants to play with. And we're hungry. It's Half twelve, quarter to one. We've been here since eight o'clock this morning, and boss man still hasn't fed us. So, <laughs> jink, jink, like this, that's shocking, isn't it? That is indeed, man. I know. I'm, I'm starting to digest my own stomach. I know. This is this. It's not on. 
It's like you want some Gary G goodness, you need some Greggs and a wee coffee, and that'll see us through the day. So I'll we'll give you an update when he shows up, if he does show up. He's a skyver. Hi. <laughs> Boss man's back. Dinner. Give me my dinner. Getting fucking Give me my dinner. <laughs> right, that's us been fed. Fucking topped up. Um, what's happening now is the wheels and the tyres are going away with Gary to go get dropped off to get the tyres mounted. Uh, I'm going to just load that up just now and uh, Gary will take over from there. Right folks, that's the wheels dropped off for the polo to get the new tyres put on them and ready to rock and roll for tomorrow. Couldn't get much footage there because the boys that are in the garage are grinding away in metal and blah blah blah, usual stuff. The reason we've used these other boys just now is our usual guy that does wheels and tyres can't make it till next week, he's that busy so it's kind of like well we need them done for tomorrow so we need to use somebody else unfortunately but we'll go pick them up tomorrow get them put on the car get the car finished and then we'll reveal the wheels that he's put on it okay see you back at the garage